shepherd of souls, shepherd of souls, savior of souls, lover of souls. We are on the lost side. Thank you. We bless you. We worship. We exalt your name. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy. We thank you for your love. Thank you. Okay, Lord, if it was money we had to pay to see each day, I wonder how many of us would be able to be paying every day. Lord Jesus, glory and honor belong to you. Thank you. You have brought us together again from all walks of life to come and hear from me this morning and to be blessed by you. As Father, we call the children, so you call us every morning, giving us instruction, admonishing us, telling us what to do and what not to do. Father, we have come before you again this morning to hear what is for us this morning. Speak to me and speak to me to the end that we all be blessed to love you more in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 Well, this morning we have a short exhortation from the Lord titled peace of mind in troubled world peace of mind in troubled world but then this is exactly what we need to succeed in this race we are running where the, the world is getting manned every day and for you and i to be able to run this race and make it to heaven on the last day, the peace of mind must constantly be there. When you lost the peace of mind, you've lost your salvation. As I will always tell the people, peace cannot, not only nothing can, replace, can take over your peace if actually you are born again. Peace is Christ himself. The day you lost the peace of mind, it means you have lost Christ in your life. But then I was studying the Bible yesterday night, I came to understand that throughout the Lord Jesus Christ's ministration on earth here, on ministry on earth here, he never told the disciples, peace be unto them. But when, after his death and resurrection, when he was about to go, he knew that he was about to leave them in a troubled world. He knew that they are going to face trouble. So the first thing he gave to them was peace. He knew that when there's peace in their hearts, no matter what they go through, they will be able to stand strong. Hence, he told us in the book of John, chapter number 20. John 20, from verse 19. So then, the same day, at evening, being the first day of the week, when the door were shut, why were the disciples were assembled? For the fear of the Jews came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, Peace be unto you. Peace be unto you. This was never done while he was still with them. He knew he was leaving them on earth here, the machine, the power to strive to the end, not to give up is the power of peace no matter what is going on around you if there's peace in your mind you will conquer until the devil is able to sniff your peace out of you you have done nothing sickness cannot take peace away from somebody poverty don't take peace away 
what takes away is sin. When sin enter you, the Prince of Peace will go away. When sin enter you, the Holy Spirit, who is the custodian of peace, will go away. Have you lost your peace? Brethren, please, you better pray it in now. Check where you have missed it. So that you confess that sin and the peace will come back to you. Verse 20. And when he has so said, he showed unto them his hands. And he said, then, he said, and he said, then we are the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. 21. Then he said, then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. As my father has sent me, even so I have sent thee. Even so I have sent you. This is the second time now he said that peace be unto you because he know the importance of peace. And if you go to verse 26, and after eight days, again, the disciples were with him, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus to the, to the door, being shut. Then came Jesus, the door being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. This is the third time now. Tell them, Peace be unto you, know, because it is power of that in that world. Peace be unto you. Because, you know, this is the driving force that will make them to be able to succeed. Because he knew that things that they never expected will be happening to them. But without peace in their heart, no matter what you do to them, no matter the tribulation, no matter the frustration, they will be able to carry on. Brethren, Jesus Christ never promised us that when I get to heaven, I will send peace to you. No, he said, I am giving you now. He never promised them peace. He, he told us, peace I have given you. No, because, you know, we need it all the days of our lives. Here the Bible told us in John chapter 14, verse 27. Say, peace I live with you. But he knew that is the only way we can succeed. Peace I live with you. He never told them when I get to my father's house, and after I've settled, I will send peace down to you. No. The peace, I am living it with you. My peace, I have given you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. When your heart is afraid and you have no peace in you, I tell you, you cannot pray. You cannot worship the Lord. You cannot sing. You will, you will be drilled out of salvation. So he's telling you and I this morning, my children, no matter what you are going through, let there be peace in your heart. No matter the situation, are you sick? Let there be peace in your heart. Are you lacking anything? Let there be peace in your heart. Peace I live with you. Peace I have given you because you know that we are living in a troubled world. And the only way you can be able to live the life that is that the Lord God Almighty expected of you is having peace in you. Brethren, when we lost the peace in our hearts, I tell you something, the ability to praise God, we go. Only the peaceful heart can praise God, as I said before. Only the peaceful heart can pray effective prayer. Only the peaceful heart can, inter can intercede. When you lost your peace, you be praying the prayer of anger. And the prayer of anger can never be answered before God Almighty. So, please, I've come to tell you, as my father told me last night, let there be peace in your heart. And he assured us nothing can take him away from us. Who is the peace of peace? The only thing that can take peace away from you is you. The only thing that can take peace away from, from home is you. Because the Lord is always ready to be with you. In that trouble, he wants to be there. In that sickness, he wants to be there. No matter what people are doing to you, the Lord wants to be there. As I said, you yourself chase him away. Peace in a troubled world. The world is going 
the way that we never expected. And the only way we can succeed in this present world is when peace reigns in our hearts. Brethren, the Bible told us in Habakkuk chapter 3, 18 and 19. So although the fig tree shall not blossom, although it's as if things are not going well with me, though people are making mockery of me, I am not progressing. Though no matter what I do, it's as if I am not making progress. The neither shall fruit be in the vine. The labor of the only shall fall, shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the food, and there shall be no herd in the, in the store. Yet I, re, I will rejoice in the Lord, no one because I have peace in me. Yet will I rejoice. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Why? Because I've concluded that nothing can take Christ away from me. I've concluded no matter the situation, no matter the circumstances, the Lord and I can never be separated. The peace that the Lord has given me, I will never trade it for anything. I will not trade my peace for circumstances. Mm -hmm. I will not trade the peace of God in my life for, for riches. Nothing is able to take it away from me. Habakkuk said, though it's as if whatever I put my hand is not going well, I am holding on to God. Though, though it's as if anything I do, anywhere I go, people are hating me, it doesn't matter. So long I know the Prince of Peace is with me, I am but more than a conqueror. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. All we need to is to disconnect ourselves from the world and connect our mind with Jesus Christ all the time for us to retain our peace, for us to retain the joy of going on earth. Disconnect yourself from things that are going on in the world and connect yourself with Christ because we know this world is not our own. We are living in a troubled world. We are living in a mad world. We are living in a world that nobody cares again about Jesus Christ. So the only way you and I can succeed not to stain our garment, not to throw in the towel, not to backslide, is to disconnect ourselves from this world and constantly connect ourselves to heaven. That's why he told us in uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 3, he said, If thou be risen, with Christ. If actually you are born again, take your eyes away from this thing that people are looking at. Hey, I can't serve God anymore. Ah, because of this, I believe God has failed me. Take your mind away from those things and put your mind in those things up there. As I have promised you in John 14, 1 to 3, let not your heart be troubled because you know we are living in a troubled world. Let not you have the trouble. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Say, in my father's house are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you. Say, I go to prepare a place for you, and I am coming back to take you where I am. There you shall be. Let there be peace in your mind. Console your heart every day. Always know that Christ is with you. The world will always be against you. Things will happen to you that you never thought will happen. Sickness may come. Anything can happen. So, so long you retain the peace of peace in you, I tell you, nothing shall be able to pull you down. Praise yeah. Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Must learn to trust in God all the time. Connect yourself with Him. Let him dwell in your heart. And I tell you, we will conquer. John chapter 16, verse 33. Said, this things I have I spoken unto you. That in me, in God alone, in Christ alone, we shall have peace. No man can give peace. It's not possible. No government can give peace. No matter how the government are loading you with money. If Christ is not there, peace will never come. There are billionaires out there that don't have peace. But there are people, they don't even have food to eat, but they are so comfortable and happy. You can't buy peace. Money cannot bring peace. It's not possible. Having 50 children cannot bring peace. 
God brings peace is the prince of peace. And once you have him, try by all means to retain him by running away from sin. The thing have I spoken unto you? That in him, Jesus Christ, you will have peace. In the word, you shall have tribulation. You shall have frustration. So don't give in to the word. Don't yield yourself to the word. That's why he told us in Romans chapter 12, verse 1 uh, to 2. When you get to please carry it because of time. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the word. So, did you please go to Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 2? Be I read of good cheer. I have one please read it. Romans 12, verse 2. I read in Jesus' name, amen. Verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service too. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. Amen. Amen. Don't give heed to this word. Be not conformed to this world. Don't try to be like them. If you try to be like them, there's no peace in the world. They'll also take a peace from you. So be ye transformed in the renewment of your mind. Renew your mind with the word of God every day. Soak yourself in Christ every day. Strive to be like him every day. Try to retain him. Make sure nothing comes between you and Christ. Make sure nobody, not even your husband, not even money, nothing come between you and your Jesus. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I've overcome that problem for you already. I am in that boat. Though the boat is as if it's capsizing, though it's as if things are happening, as long as Christ is in that boat with you, it can never capsize. Mm. As he told us in Mark chapter 4, 35. To 41, please. You can read this Mark 4 35 to 41. Please, fast. Yes, sir. Mark 4 24 to 25. I read Mark 4 35 to 41. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 35. And the same day when the even was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. 36. And when they had and when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was on the ship. And there were also with him other little ships, 37. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full, 38. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? 39. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Hallelujah. Thanks. Now, the question before me and you is this. Is Jesus Christ sailing with you? Is Jesus Christ in your marriage? In, is Jesus Christ in your life? Is Jesus Christ in, in that business? If he's there, so don't mind whatever is happening. All you need to do is to say, Father, look at what's happening. Surely you will calm the storm. I don't care to know what the devil has done to your marriage. I don't care to know what is happening around you. What I care to ask you is Christ still with you? Is Jesus still with you? Is there so hold on to fed John for four? For you are of God, little child. For he has overcome the world for you. Just as I have told you now in John chapter 16, verse 3, see. For greater is he that is in you, Jesus Christ himself, than he is troubling you. Who is that power troubling you? Jesus Christ is greater than them. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Um, it says, Isaiah 26, verse 3, Thou will keep him in perfect peace under our condition. 
Thou, O God, we keep him or her in perfect peace, whose mind is not stick to the word, whose mind is not resting on man, whose mind is not depending on their, on their whatever money they have, whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. For you to have peace, as a man is having peace now, no matter what is happening, no matter the travail, no matter the situation, you, there's one thing you can't take from him. He is that peace of mind. Amen. You know why? He promised me a long time ago. And I hold on to it. See, I, I never promised you to car, boy. I never promised you you start building houses, boy. No. I never promised you that people will start following you everywhere. No. See, even if it's two people that follow you, but one thing I promise you, I will make life comfortable for you. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? So long God himself opened his mouth, I have told me, I will make life comfortable. No matter what is happening, I feel comfort. No matter the situation, when I remember his promise, I feel comfort. I always know he is there for me. And I'm also telling you this morning, that same God who had brought us in a cave. Cave is not a conducive place. Cave is not a place to be. But God, in his mercy, made caves to be comfortable. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, what we need to do is to make our mind to stay on him. Always constantly make sure sin is out of your heart. And uh, let Christ be the center of your life. By so doing, no matter the situation, in trouble you will laugh. Man. When people are expecting to see tears in you, tears of sorrow, you will see you laugh, laughing. When they are trying to call you, not to console you, the way they come out of your mouth, say, eh? that means this person is something else. Why? Because I have extraordinary God in me. Man. Nothing shall be able to put me down. Peace we need. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Brethren, the, the, way, the only way we can be able to retain this peace is to try not to live a carnal life. Mm -hmm. Is to try not to see things the way others see it. Is to try not to, not to look at things the way others look it. Always try to be in spirit all the time. Always try to make sure you retain that stand of God in you. In Romans 8, verse 14, he said, only those who are, spirit, who are in spirit, he said, they are only these children of God. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. It means the day you are led by your carnal mind, the day you are led by your physical eyes, he said, that at that point, you have been cut off from among the children of God. So for the peace of God to always be in you, you must constantly be a child of God. You must constantly be led by the Spirit of God. Hence, he told us in Romans chapter 6, verse, Romans chapter 8, verse 6, for, be, for to be carnally minded is dead. To be carnally minded is dead. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Amen. So, I am brought Mark for us to be peaceful, for us to live a joyful life with Christ, we must be spiritual all the time. What moves others must not move us. We must not look at things the way people are looking at it. We must, we must not allow carnality to play in. When carnality play in, you are played out of the way of God. Praise Master Jesus Christ. And Hallelujah. The Bible told us in Romans chapter 6, verse 20. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. For you to overcome the devil, you need the God of peace in you. You need a peace of mind. When the devil has sourced it, take a peace from you. The devil has sourced it, he put you under his own feet. You can't bind him, you can't instruct him. When you have succeeded in taking over your heart, 
So I tell you today, a piece of peace have bruised that problem under your feet already in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, please don't allow carnality to be in. Let the grace of God, the mercy of God, always be in you. Praise the Lord. Uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must keep our faith in God in an unshakable manner. Having faith in God bring hope and peace. We must constantly put our faith in God for you to retain peace in you. For you to retain that peace, the peace of peace in you. Always let him know that, Father, I trust in you all the time. No matter the circumstances, no matter the travail, let your faith be in Him. Amen. The Bible told us in Romans chapter 6, chapter 5, verse 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And let there be peace in your heart. And how can that be? By constantly putting our faith in God, not in any man, not in anything, because any other thing can fill you. Joy and peace is an inheritance from God to the children of God. Peace and joy is an inheritance that every genuine child of God must have. This is the number one test of if you are really born again. Any genuine child of God who is genuinely born again, the first thing that God gives to that person is peace Amen. and joy. No matter what happened, you see the person still smiling, still laughing, still joyful. Why? Because you have entered into the person. Now, I ask you this question. Have you lost that peace? Or are you born again? There's no peace in your heart. You are not genuinely born again. Are you serving God? You don't have peace in your heart. You are, you are an hypocrite. Sorry to use that word. If you are genuine, no matter the situation, peace. Peace can never go. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I close with this. Now, the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope to the power of the Holy Ghost. The God of all fill you Amen. with all joy and peace. I want to open my say, Father, if I've lost it, fill me again. Any sin in my life that have taken you from me, the Prince of Peace, have mercy upon me. Come again and fill me in abundance, fill me abundantly, and nothing shall be able to take me off you again. In the name of Jesus Christ, open my prayer. Amen. 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 Father, Lord Jesus, I give you the praise, the glory, I give you the honor. Amen. Father, Lord Jesus, in a way that I lost my peace, Lord Jesus, I have not said that. Father, Lord Jesus, please be strong in my to me. Father, Lord Jesus, I have not said that. I have not said that. In a way, I lost my peace in you. Father, I have not said that. I have not said that. Lord Jesus, please be strong. Your peace back to me, Father. Have mercy upon me, Lord Jesus. Have mercy upon me, Father. Lord Jesus, please restore your peace back to me, Father. In the way that I have missed your peace, Father, I have lost the peace of God, Jesus, because of sin, Father. Have mercy upon me, Jesus. Have mercy upon me, Father. Have mercy upon me, Father. Amen. 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 Last, I want to pray. I want to pray, Prince of Peace. Be my all in all from now on. Amen. Open up and pray. Amen. Amen. Father, Lord Jesus, I give you the praise, the glory, the peace of all. From now on, be my peace. For now on, be my peace. For now on, be my peace. For now on, be my peace. Be my peace of peace. For now on, be my all in all in the name of Jesus. Peace of peace. For now on, be my all in all in the name of Jesus. Peace for now on, be my all in all. 
Please, I want you to surrender yourself to Christ this morning. If you don't want to crash with the world we are living now, the world will soon crash. Or are you born again? You have lost it somewhere, or not to you. You don't you don't have that peace again the way you used to have it. Please, I want to call you back again. The Lord will ever have backslidden. Come back, I beg you. You that is not born again, please say this word after me if you want to be born again. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you this morning. I am a sinner worthy of eternal death. Without peace and joy in life. But your world has spoken life and peace into me. For I to receive it, I know I must receive you, Lord. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me all my sin. Wash me clean with the blood. Take my name away from the book of the condemned and write it in the book of life. I accept you, Lord Jesus Christ, today as my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my life. Come and dwell in me. All things have passed away from me today. All things have become new because I am born again now. I go now to live my life for you, Lord Jesus. So help me, God. In Jesus' name. Amen. I pray with you if you have confessed confession and look also we are gradually past leading, but today we have the conservative to him. Also pray with us. There's a sister on this matter that before when I anytime when I say, I say how are you? I, say, I cannot complain. That word always give me strength to move on. But for for a long time now, she has said it. She's not saying it no more. Please, I want us to start to go back. I believe heaven, Lord, that word. I can't complain. And every sort of complaining in us, every sort of memory. The Lord have destroyed it this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Lord, brother, what in my ear now? It means himself also like it. Mm. Please never complain again. Amen. Whenever anything say, I cannot complain. Mm. Because the Prince of Peace is in me. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I worship you. I exhort it because you have taken away every sort of complaining memory from us, O oh God. Thank you because wherever we have lost you, that make peace to go away from us. Today, we are, you have been, you have been restored back to us again. And mm -hmm. that power, that devil, and his demon that were perfecting us have been chased out of our way in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you because whatever the devil brought our way, to put us in a tight corner, to make us to feel you are no more there. The grace to overcome, we receive it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father, for this one that have joined us today, that have given their life to you. The grace to retain the peace that we give to them right now. Give them that grace, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father, for as many the devil thoughts they have brought down. Father, before next week, Tuesday, I thank you because testimony that will bring others to you shall be shared by such people in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You God. Have, you have to come the sea for your children in that Mark chapter 4. Every roaring lion, every turbulent sea in our life have been calmed this morning, and the mouth of that lion have been made to keep quiet silence forever. 
in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Please fear not. Trouble not again. For the lion of the tribe of Judah have conquered for you this morning. Let there be peace in your heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Um, Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.